Biodiversity. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is a variety of plants and animals, also known as fauna and flora. Rainforests are known to have a lot of biodiversity, as there are a huge variety of animals and plants. 50% of the world's species are found in only 7% of the land area. 90% of insect species and 80% of primates are found in tropical rainforests. Biodiversity also forms the foundation of many ecosystem services that help toward the well-being of humans. Importance and Benefits of Biodiversity Plants convert carbon dioxide into the oxygen that we use and breathe. With more amounts of plants, more carbon dioxide is converted to oxygen. Roots from trees and shrubs hold the soil around in place. This allows for a firm ground with less erosion and landslides. Medication relies a lot on the vast types of plants found in nature. Medication is an extremely important part of our world today and requires a vast majority of plants. Agricultural products or cash crops are sold every day to the public. All of our vegetables and fruits come from plants that feed us every single day. With people being more environment aware, conscious ecotourism has allowed for protection of rainforests and a type of income for the local community. What causes a decrease in biodiversity? Cattle ranching takes away rainforests to make space for grazing. This is caused by the increase in meat demand all around the world. Rainforests are believed to have metals and fossil fuels below the surface. Because of the increase of mining around the world, companies now look to expand their mines into rainforests and other vegetated areas. New roads are made cutting through vegetated areas. This causes deforestation and potentially opens up areas for urbanization, farming and mining. This brings us to our next problem, urbanization. The world's population increases every single day. This means more houses, buildings, shopping centers are being built. Unfortunately, nature is standing in the way of these buildings and is clear immediately, seen every single day. What are the problems caused by the loss of biodiversity? The destruction and loss of biodiversity causes many problems. Firstly, flooding is more common because of the lack of roots and transpiration. Water saturates the soil much quicker, causing surface runoff. This could also cause landslides and mudslides. Reduced photosynthesis will occur with the loss of vegetation. This releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and helps in the greenhouse effect. Another important problem that is caused by the loss of biodiversity is less rainfall. Less water is transpired from the vegetation into the atmosphere, reducing the formation of clouds and rainfall. Solutions to prevent the loss of biodiversity Participation in biodiversity conservation is possible by increasing our knowledge of the issues that are seen in the environment. This helps in increasing the support for governmental policies and actions that conserve ecosystems. But what are the physical solutions to stop the loss of biodiversity? Rehabilitation and increased productivity to decrease the future loss of rainforests, it is important to increase and sustain productivity of farms, pastures, plantations, and scrublands. This is possible by using technology to create higher yielding crops that can easily grow on degraded forest soil. Law enforcement. Laws connected to deforestation and farming can be set out to encourage sustainable sustainability of rainforest resources. This is only possible if the government of a country is possible to fund these law enforcement agencies. Biodiversity in Brazil <clears throat> Brazil is one of the richest countries in the world in terms of biodiversity. Brazil has over 1,600 federal, state and private conservation units that protect 16% continental territory, which corresponds to 1,479,686 square kilometers. Brazil has 40,000 more plants and tree species than any other forest in the world. In an area of 2.5 km squared, there are 250 different tree species. However, Brazil has the highest rate of tree loss in the world. Deforestation in Brazil, and mainly the Amazon region, is increasing by the minute. Urban population, agriculture, and resource development are major contributors to the loss of Brazilian forests.
So why is biodiversity decreasing in Brazil? Deforestation for cattle farms, industrial activities and large-scale agriculture, and logging. Pale ranching is a leading cause for deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. Almost 70% of deforestation is caused by cattle ranching in Brazil, where beef is sent to urban markets and leather and other cattle products are exported. Industrial activities and large-scale agriculture. After science, scientists developed a new kind of soybean that flourished in rainforest climates, commercial, commercialization contributed significantly to deforestation. Forests were converted to soy fields and this allowed opportunities for new highways and roads, taking away more of the forest around. Logging Logging is supposedly controlled strictly by licenses, which allows companies to harvest timber in designated areas. However, illegal logging is a major problem. Logging is mostly linked to the road building because this allows for areas to have usable roads, which give access to remote areas in the rainforest. How is Brazil preventing biodiversity? Protected areas. More than half of the Amazon rainforest has been designated as national parks and indigenous lands. This protects a very large area, larger than, larger than Greenland, from logging and agriculture or deforestation in general. The attempt to push for more protected areas in Brazil started in 2003. This was run by a new Brazilian administration to stop deforestation and illegal logging. In the image below, the orange represents deforestated areas. The green and blue and purple represent the protected areas. Industry cooperation. In the past, cattle ranching and soybean com companies were the major contributors to deforestation in Brazil. Building political pressure and bad publicity allowed for the two biggest companies that bought these products to freeze their purchases. Many companies had to change their methods as other companies connected refused to work alongside. Satellite monitoring. Protected areas and geographical restrictions are great in theory, but how do you make sure these laws are being followed? In 2006, a satellite was launched by the Brazilian Space Agency to monitor the pace of deforestation and is estimated to have prevented deforestation of 59,000 square kilometers. Improved enforcement. For any government agency attempting to enforce wildlife law over a large area, scale produces a huge hurdle. The Amazon is a mass of 5.5 million square kilometers, which requires around in which requires ground enforcement for the forestry laws, even though satellites fly above. Patrolling roads into the forest have helped to catch violators and find them for their actions. This focus of law enforcement increases the efficiency of patrols over this large area. The overall evaluation of the solutions. Overall, in the last year, deforestation in Brazil increased by almost 30%. According to reports from the National Institute for Space Research, 3,100 square miles was removed from, far from farmland. Activists and experts have agreed that the reason for this is the loosening of our environmental laws and as well as budget cuts. This has left a large stretches of land vulnerable to deforestation. Funds allocated for surveillance, monitoring and prevention has dropped dramatically as well. Overall, these factors have led to deforestation and ultimately loss of biodiversity. A serious effort is needed by the government of Brazil and the people of the world to help save biodiversity in the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. This is a graph of deforestation. As you can see, there is a lot of fluctuation until 2004 where deforestation decreases until 2008. From then on, it decreases again, but in the last few years, deforestation and ultimately biodiversity has increased.